Hey guys, TJ Miller with IDI. Today's video is about how to do a density check. The important thing to remember is, is you have to make sure you wait at least 24 hours before you take your sample out. That gives the foam time to off-gas and cure. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a sample. So now that I've got our sample, we can go do our density check. So a couple tools we're going to need before we do our density check. A digital calipers, a gram scale, and a sharp knife to cut our sample. You can get all these at any box store for a few bucks. The other important thing to remember is, is we're measuring the core density. So we have to get down to the actual core of the sample. The skins or pass lines of multiple passes are more dense. The skin is always more dense than the core. So we're actually getting down to the core of the sample to determine our density. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the skins, the skin up on the outside of the wall, and the skin on the back side of the wall. Now another thing I like to do is use a marker because we're measuring length, width, and height. And I want to make sure I don't double measure something on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and measure, mark these length, width, and height. Now the other thing you're going to need to have is a density calculator. If you don't already have one on your phone or on your laptop, go into IDI website, go to the resource library. We have one there that anybody can go ahead and download, save it onto your phone or save it onto your laptop. And all you have to have is the length, width, and height and a gram measurement to do your density check. So now that I have my sample and I have my length, width, and height marked, I'm gonna go ahead and use my digital calipers. And you have to get down to the decimal point. Every single decimal point matters. So once I get that information, I'm gonna go ahead and type it into my density calculator. So my length is exactly three inches. Now I'm gonna go over to my width, 2.79. And now I'm going to go to my height, 2.80. Now I can take my sample, I'm going to put it on my gram scale, so I can plug that information into the calculator, 12.2 grams. And there it spits out my density at a 1.983 which is fantastic for a two pound phone. That means we got great coverage and great yield. You should be taking this information and putting it into a daily log sheet and things like that. So if there's problems down the road, you can go back and prove that you made a good quality product by having that core density sample and having that stuff documented after you leave a job site. So if you guys found this video helpful, please like and share any questions or concerns about it. Don't hesitate to reach out to your local IDI branch or your local tech rep. Please like and share this video. TJ Miller with IDI. Thanks for watching.